going to start the first basic programming tutorial in Mindstorms, and it's going to be how to move your robot. So think of um, an algorithm, which is just a set of instructions for a computer, as just simply a set of instructions for a human being. Now, we want our robot to move, okay? So the first thing we always have to have in our program is the play button, obviously. But you're going to come down here, and if you hover over the green blocks, you'll see the name for them. So this says medium motor, large motor, moving, move steering, move tank. For our movement, we're always going to use move tank. We're not going to use move steering at all, or large motor, or medium motor. Just for movement, use the move tank. It'll make everything easier. So I'm going to left click and drag out the move tank right to our play button, which enables it. Now, a couple things here. Ports. Ports are important. So you connected, when you built your robot, your motors to a letter port. Now, if those are somehow wrong, you would have to change them up here. That's not a big deal. Just make sure, check your the connection from the edge of the motors, the back of the motors with the little um, Cat5 cable in it, and make sure it connects to the same uh, letter ports as are right here. Once you've done that, um, you can look at this. So there's a couple of options for how we can move. So if I left click that, I can turn it off, I can turn it on, I can turn it on for seconds, on for degrees, on for rotations. So very simply, if you think logically, on for rotations, that means how many rotations of the wheel should it be on for, how many degrees should the wheel go for, how many seconds should the wheel be on for, and on just means keep the wheel on forever. So let's just start with something simple on for seconds. So this is really important. When you're using the move tank command, there's two little dials here, power left and power right. And that's how much speed the wheel is given. So the maximum I think is 100. That means the wheels will be going forward uh, at the speed of whatever 100 equates to. Now, since we're on for seconds, we can hover over here. It's a seconds one. Well, you know, you can change that. If I want it on for two seconds, I would hit two. I just left click it. If I want it on for one second, I hit one. If I want it on for 100 seconds, I make it 100. So I'm going to keep it on for one now. It's very important that you realize that these numbers are important. So there's two types of numbers for these, the positive numbers and the negative numbers. So the positive numbers make the wheel go forward. And if I hit my play button here, you won't be able to see it, but you'll be able to hear it. My robot just moves forward. So it moved forward because I have a positive number. If I wanted to move this robot backwards, I would change the slider or type in negative 100 and then negative 100. So now if I hit play, my robot's going to move backwards. So positives are forwards, negative are backwards moving. Well, you say, what if I want to do a turn? So turning, if you think about this logically, you could say, okay, let's power one wheel. So we're going to do zero to 100, which would make our wheel turn backwards, our right wheel, which would make our robot turn right. However, we want more power in our turn. It just makes more sense, and it makes the robot turn a little bit easier. So for turns, you just do the opposite. So, for instance, I have now my left wheel going forward and my right wheel going backwards. So if you visualize that in your head, that is a right turn. And it helps if you kind of actually physically turn the wheels um, in the direction based on these gauges. So say, you know, turn the left wheel forward to the right one backwards, and you'll see it on the ground, it turns right. So a right turn is 100, negative 100. Now left turns, obviously, are the opposite of that. So I would do negative 100, and since we're making a turn, it has to be opposite, 100. So now this is a left turn. So let's say you want your robot to follow an algorithm that says, hey, turn left and move forward. So this is one command. So let's say one second, move, turn left, 
and then for one second move forward. And I'm just going to drag out the move tank block. And remember, move forward is positive numbers. And I, didn't really, and I can do for one rotation or just one second if I want. And that's the power at 75. That's fine. So if I click this, my robot will turn and move forward for one second. So turn for one second and move forward for one second. That's movement in a nutshell. Think of algorithms as a set of instructions. If you want the robot to do something, you tell it to do something.